Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the equilibrium condition or the zero biasing condition of a diode. So in a PN junction, without an externally applied voltage, an equilibrium condition is reached in which a potential difference is formed across the junction. This potential difference is called the built-in potential and it is represented as VBI. At the junction of a p-type and n-type semiconductor, higher concentration of electrons in the n-type region near the p-n interface tend to diffuse into the p-type region. As electron diffuses, they leave positively charged ions in the n region. Similarly, the higher concentration of hole in the p-type side near the p-n interface begin to diffuse into the n-type region leaving fixed ions with a negative charge. The region just adjacent on either side of the p-n interface lose their neutrality and become charged, thus forming the space charge region or depletion layer as shown in this figure. The electric field created by the space charge region opposes the diffusion process for both electrons and holes. There are two simultaneous phenomena. The diffusion process that tended to generate more space charge and the electric field generated by the space charge that tend to counteract the diffusion. At equilibrium, these two forces balance each other. The carrier concentration profile at equilibrium is shown on the figure with the blue and red line is represented here. Also shown are the two counterbalancing phenomena that establishes the equilibrium condition. The space charge region is a zone with net charge provided by the fixed ion, those are donors or acceptors and that have been left uncovered by majority carrier diffusion. When the equilibrium is reached, the charge density is approximated as shown in this figure with a Q of X graph. In fact, the region is completely depleted of majority space charge region and the neutral region is quite sharp. The space charge region has the same charge on both sides of the PN interface, thus it extends further into the less heavily doped side. So these are the zero biasing or the equilibrium condition of a PN junction. So we had mentioned the diode principles, forward biases, reverse bias condition in the previous set of lectures. Some of the basic properties of a PN junction are discussing here. The PN junction exhibits some interesting properties which have useful application in the solid state electronics. A P doped semiconductor is relatively conductive. The same is true for an n the semiconductor, but the junction between P and N type region is a non-conducting area or a non-conductor. This non-conducting layer called the depletion layer occur because the electrically charged carriers that is electrons in the N type and hole in the P type silicon diffuses into the other type of the material and eliminate each other in a process called recombination. This diffusion of charge causes a built-in potential difference across the depletion region. By manipulating this non-conductive layer, the PN junctions are commonly used as diodes. A diode is a circuit element that allows a flow of electricity in one direction but not in the opposite direction. This property is explained in the term of forward bias and reverse bias conditions where the term bias refers to the application of electric voltage across the PN junction. A PN junction will conduct current when the applied external voltage exceeds the built-in potential of the junction. So as we mentioned earlier, the barrier potential or 
the potential of the junction for a silicon is 0.7 volt and for a germanium is 0.3 volt so my dear students these are the basic zero biasing or equilibrium condition for a pn junction so dear students hope you have understood this concept so dear students kindly write down the assignment question our question is write notes on the zero bias or equilibrium condition of a pn junction so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the diode characteristics those characteristic includes forward characteristic reverse characteristic as well as the temperature related characteristics so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best